Before we continue with the video, if you like what I'm doing here on this channel, please consider subscribing. It helps the channel a lot. Anyway, let's get back to the video. Welcome. In this video, I figured we could check out the Humble Bundle that is currently available on Humble Bundle uh, from Animpic, this Polygon Game Dev Assets, and uh, we could take a closer look at what they are looking like and how they feel. Uh, so I am not sponsored by Humble Bundle or Animpic or have any affiliation with any of these. So this will just be an objective view of what I see and will allow you to see what the assets looks like in a little bit more of a uh, close relationship. So you can feel get a feel for if this is something that interests you or not. And you can make a decision if you want to buy it or not. Anyway. Uh, the Humble Bundle consists of three different tiers. You have one for $1, you have one for $22, or euros actually, and one for 23 euros. So you get either two, six, or 16, the complete package of them if you buy the 23 euro one. Uh, they consist of 16 items and they are varied in their scope of what they are both consisting of numerically and also what kind of a theme they have. You have some survival kits, you can see you have some medical kits, weapon kits, um, you have some cities, you have house appliances, you have the Wild West farms, Halloween, medieval camps, New York City, fantasy villages, houses, forest villages, survival collections, and some modular town city things. So all in all, I do believe it's something along the line along the lines of uh, 4,000 plus models. I'm not entirely sure if that's completely accurate, but that's what it says. Um, something to keep in mind here is that even though there are 16 items here and most of them are available for Unity and Unreal, uh, two of them, this one over here, is only for Unity and there is also one in the bottom here, the Light Survival Collection. So two out of these 16 are not available in Unreal. So if you want to bring them over to Unreal, you will have to first get them into Unity and then export them because I do believe that they come in a, uh, a project for Unity specific, so I'm not sure you can export it like or just use it freely. You might have to export it from Unity to get it into Unreal. Anyway, so that's the, the grand overview. So let's take a look at the packs. So here we are in the first pack, and this is a pretty fair representation of what the packs look like in general. Uh, they have a very low poly style to them. It fits very well with Synthes uh, low poly style um, assets, I think, if you wanted to like mix and match them a little bit. And yeah, so this is essentially one of the scenes available. This specific one happens to be one called City Megapolis. And you have a bunch of different things. You have different... Uh, buildings, you have some aeroplanes, you have a bigger one here, you have some helicopters, some air balloons, you have some roads and some water and tiles of that nature, you have uh, some uh, courts, roads, cars, a lot of variety here essentially to create a landscape or a cityscape uh, of this kind of character. So since we have a lot of packs to go through, let's keep on moving. The next part is also from Megapolis and that is because I felt like uh, it would be misrepresenting the pack if we just showed the, the cityscape because it also comes with a racetrack and a seascape. So this is essentially what that one looks like. They have brought in some of the planes, they have a bridge, they have a little bit of landscape and some boats and water and some other objects here as well. So that's what the, the water part of it looks like. They also have a fantasy village. And this one uh, consists of a lot of houses, some trees, and some small objects like uh, lights and such. There are uh, both day scenes and night scenes available for these. I chose to take some of the demo scenes that are, were available and try to keep them to the day cycle theme because that way it's easier to see sort of what to expect even though the dark or the night versions might have a little bit more ambience. 
Um, if you were wondering, they do not have an interior, most of these buildings, or any of them as far as I've seen so far. So they're pretty much about exterior aesthetic when it comes to that. Moving on, we also have a form. Uh, the form, very small, very cute, and uh, looks uh, like something that you could, like this pack alone, you could probably make something a little small and cozy around, essentially. But with all of these different packs, you have a lot of variety and you can mix and match them, of course, as you see fit. You could be easily able to build a city with the rural parts and then the more um, remote parts with farm landscapes and uh, desolate places as well, if you wanted to. So this is uh, sort of what the farm looks like. Let's move on to the forest village. And also to mention, this is in Unreal Engine 5 currently. They have them available for several Unreal Engine 4 versions and Unreal Engine 5 as well, if you want to. Although some of them, like this one, has a little bit of an issue when it comes to the lighting, in my opinion. The fog seems to be very heavy here, and I'm not entirely sure why they've chosen to do it this way. Maybe they have uh, some settings that you need to tweak to get it to look okay. But yeah, so here you have a sort of... Uh, farm, uh, forest, village kind of feel to it. They also have a Halloween pack, which is the weirdest one in my opinion. It has a lot of Halloween related things with a very specific character to them. Um, I'm unsure how viable this one will be to blend in with the others, but at least you have the option rather than not. Moving on, we have house appliances. Now this one looks, if you go out a bit, you can see you have like a few groupings of things. Uh, this one is a little bit misleading in my opinion, because you can see there are several different objects here, but they are just the same model with different materials. So it, it makes it feel like this one has way more models than it actually does. But still, it has pretty much everything you would expect when it comes to house appliances. You see even microwaves and toasters. and. Uh, yeah, coffee machines and all kinds of stuff like that. So this in conjunction with all the other things is probably quite good. We have a houses pack. Yeah, it was very generically named. You see we have a helicopter and we have a bunch of different houses here of different styles and colors and shapes and such. Also some trucks and cars and small other objects and trinkets here and there to make it come alive. So this one is... Um, Pretty straightforward. I even have some industry looking buildings here as well. And apparently you have a helipad on a uh, residential building because that's normal. Anyway, moving on, let's go to the medieval camp. So this is what that looks like. So it's made to look in, uh, you see you even get some clouds that look low poly uh, for ambience. Uh, so you have some tents and some uh, wagons, carts, barrels and uh, fires and packages and firewood and even some racks of weapons and such which is also something that we'll uh, touch on a little bit later because they have weapons kits and such these are very medieval of course they will have more futuristic or contemporary things as well so here we have a mega survival pack and zooming out you can see that we have a bunch of different groupings we have some tents and boats or rafts rather and then we have some guitars and radios and things like that. We have some medicinal things like pills and IVs and med, med packs and bags and syringes and such. You have some fires, pots, pans, grills. Um, you have some uh, food related items in different packagings and vegetables and such. Uh, you have some uh, Oh, it's eluding me what these are called, barrels, um, and uh, fishing poles, saws, other different types of tools. See so some more tools, some tools and some weapons, some more weapons, see some uh, shotguns and pistols and rifles, and yeah. So it's a varied pack when it comes to survival things. Then we have a New York pack. Now this is just one of a few that I chose. I think there were like four or five. Uh, it says New York, 
but that's more about the style of the houses rather than anything else. It's not like a big pack when it comes to a lot of different houses. Um, it is fairly modular, as you can see here, because if I click around, you can see that it's made up of different parts uh, to create a building. So you can, of course, make a, a lot of different buildings with it, but um, don't expect anything like uh, the New York from the Matrix scene or anything like that. It doesn't have that many models in it, or, or at least uh, parts of uh, modular models to make use of. But anyway, the, the scene is nice and the houses look uh, nice as well, so that's what you get there. You also have survival tools. Here's a nice little demonstration of it. So you see there's a lot of uh, essentially construction site related articles here of some variety at least. and. Uh, this goes a long way to sell that a construction site is uh, alive and working with a bunch of different small knickknacks. Knick -knacks. Moving on to the next one, we have a town city. So this one is more suburban. You can see we have some cars here as well, some lights, some uh, park benches and stuff like that as well. And yeah, so this one also had, I believe, a few different scenes, but they were not too many, I think three, uh, slightly different feel to them, uh, something like that. Moving on, we have a weapons kit. Now this is sort of like stepping into the matrix or something like that, because you can see there's a lot of weapons put out here. So you have a few different tables with some ammunition and different weapons, displaying the different uh, things that are available. Here you can pretty much see most of what is available. You can see rocket launchers, grenade launchers, snipers, uh, all kinds of different objects related to uh, more violent uh, games. And you can see them displayed like this also if you want to see what is available. Yeah, moving on, we have the last one, which is the Wild West, which looks like this. So uh, this was the more uh, residential area or demo of the scenes and it has got some marginal interior there isn't things inside but there is at least uh, they're created so you can have them as interiors if you wanted to um, with saloons and things like that as well uh, which has more details in it if i can just get it right um there was also another demo scene which showed off a little bit of a railway as well but this one was more telling about what the pack looked like in general i thought so uh, that's why i chose to uh, display this one here those were all the packs and i hope that this is able to inform you if this is something that interests you so you can get it or not um, anyway that is all for now take care Hopefully you found this video helpful. If you liked the video, leave a like. If you did not like it, leave a dislike. Leave any suggestions or comments you have down below. Subscribe and share this video if you want to see more like it in the future. That is all for now. Keep on learning. Take care.